Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Charles, and I give you greetings from Spirit and Peace UCC in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Thank you. I invite you to take a moment, bow your heads, and let's pray. God, hear our praise. You call Jesse to serve Mayflower and Whitey. We give thanks for this. We give thanks for Jesse's willingness to say yes to the call and for the members of Mayflower and Whitey to say yes to calling him. On this great day, God, we ask that your spirit be with us so we can celebrate together. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Today is the day. And this day has been a long time coming, too. In 2021, Mayflower Congregational here in Sioux City, the first congregational in Whiting, they made a bold decision about their future. They were going to come together and share a full time pastor. And then they made another bold decision by calling Jesse Lent as their new pastor. Jesse's tenure began on September 11, 2021, meaning it's taken a little more than 17 months to finally have an installation service. Jesse, let me tell you, I am a big believer in waiting to finally have an installation service. I started my pastor at Spirit of Peace in March of 2020. And little did I know at that time that it would be over a full year before I finally had my first in-person worship service due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It took me 20 months to finally have my installation service. May it be written in the record books of the Tri-Conference that the two longest holdouts for having a service of installation are Charles Owens and Jesse Lent. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to have an installation service is a smart decision. I don't know why there's such a pressure on us pastors to, as soon as we get to a church, okay, let's quick hurry up and have an installation service. Waiting means you've had time to build up relationships with the members of your churches, and a time to build relationships with your clergy colleagues in Iowa, South Dakota, Nebraska, whether they're United Church of Christ or Disciples of Christ. Waiting means you've developed a history with your churches. By this point, the honeymoon phase is over. <laughs> You're beginning to settle into a routine with your churches. Beginning a new pastorate, but the beginning of any new relationship. It takes time to get comfortable with one another and to really discover who you are and how you function in relation to one another. Trust. Trust is built on a pattern of predictable behavior. So by waiting to have an installation service, you and your churches have already done the important work of building the sacred bond of trust. Waiting also means you've had some early successes in your shared ministry. The membership of Mayflower, it's grown. And not only that, but you've had one of the most successful stewardship campaigns in years. Mayflower has always been a mission-minded church focused on outreach. And in Jesse's 17 months, the church has strengthened its commitment to Sioux City's LGBTQ plus population, escalated involvement in food assistance to the needy, and began new ministries like pub theology, 
and rebooting the choir. The COVID-19 pandemic has been unkind to so many churches. And so the fact that Mayflower that today has emerged from the pandemic with increased members, increased cash flow to keep the mission funded, and an increased enthusiasm for the future of the church, that is remarkable. Ministry is always a shared effort. But sometimes, us pastors, we don't like to take credit for our fair share of success. One of the most essential functions for leadership is leaders set the tone for every conversation that takes place within the organization. Mayflower successes these past 17 months. It's a community effort. And Jesse, you created an environment where these new ministries could be nurtured. You took the hopes and dreams of this congregation and showed the people just how to get from point A to B. Jesse, may God always bless you with the gifts that allow you to empower the members of Mayflower to make their wildest dreams a reality. At the same time, a shared history means, well, there's likely been some bumps in the road. One of the greatest challenges of being a pastor is so much of what we do is in the public. And it's open to public scrutiny. The people in the pews, or in the case of Mayflower, the people in the chairs, they can see not only your successes, but also your shortcomings. By 17 months, I'm sure they've likely discovered you have your limits. And likewise, by this point, you can look to the members of Mayflower, and you've come to discover they have their limitations too. In every pastor's mind is a mental list with the heading the search committee didn't tell me anything about this. <laughs> Waiting to have an installation means that after 17 months of both blessings and blunders, and oh, Jesse, I'm so happy to say that it has been more of the former than the latter. That means that you and the good people at Mayflower are still willing to say yes to this covenantal relationship. Everything up until this point, well, this has been kind of like living together before marriage. <laughs> the love and the commitment is there. But now, we're just getting around to making it official. God has called Jesse to serve as pastor for Mayflower and Whiting. And today we celebrate what we have already known all along for these past 17 months. Jesse, when I was beginning in ministry, dear friend and mentor, Reverend Rich Pleba, who was once conference minister of Iowa, he told me that being an effective pastor it's less about what you do and more about who you are. And at the time, I really didn't understand what he meant. But 10 years later, I can look back and say, oh, now I get it. A pastor cannot lead a congregation to a place that they are not willing to go themselves. If you want Mayflower to be a church, that dreams, big dreams, and then works to make them happen, you yourself must be a dreamer. If you want Mayflower to continue with its mission revitalization, then you have to have a clear vision for the mission of Jesus that lives inside your mind and heart. 
If you want Mayflower to be a place that's on fire for the Holy Spirit, then you need to have that same spirit burning bright within you. These are all things that I know to be true about who you are. But I remind you, because on the adventure ahead, it can be easy to lose sight of this. May you always remember to care for yourself so that your spiritual life is nourished. Because ministry is not a vocation where the expression, if you can't make it, then fake it, will get you far. And for the members of Mayflower, I want you to remember what you are promising to Jesse. As I named earlier, ministry is always a community effort. You are, are accepting Jesse as your leader, so give him support by walking alongside him. Trust his judgment. Allow him to be creative. Empower him to take risks. Remember that pastoral leadership isn't always easy. So when Jesse makes a mistake, speak to him about it with love in your hearts. Remind him it's okay to be human. That he doesn't have to be everything to everyone. There's an old Irish proverb that says if one tries to do both talking and eating at the same time, one will find that they do neither very well. Help Jesse out with the workload of ministry so he has more time to focus on what he's best at. Jesse has a lot of amazing gifts for ministry. So give him the opportunity to develop those gifts further so he can use them to invest in the future of your church. You have called for your pastor someone who loves God, loves congregational ministry, and let me tell you, he loves you. Jesse is always talking about you. And he's so proud of the work that you're doing together. You are so blessed to have such a sincere and sensitive soul as your new pastor. And if you allow Jesse to be at his best, great things will happen for Mayflower. Jesse and the members of Mayflower, I hope you remember this day. In the good times, may you reflect on this day and give thanks that God called all of you together for this season of ministry. In the not so good times, those times when ministry is tough, tensions are running high, and the future looks uncertain, may you remember this day May you remember the promises exchanged. May you remember the commitment you have to one another. And may it give you strength to persevere. Blessings to you, Jesse, on this day of your installation. Blessings to you, Mayflower Congregational, on this sacred day. Blessings on the adventure ahead, where God's Spirit leads, may each of you faithfully follow. Amen.